Hi guys, welcome back for the mode to review, and this will be the Masters of the Universe Origins. All right, and this is Buster Hordak, and this is not your typical uh, deluxe packaging. All right, if I'm uh, not mistaken, he is from the one of the uh, uh, Americas. Uh, Americas. Launch basically the Latin uh, Latin America's launch, I guess. Says launch saw blade projectile is coming out, I guess. And it says include comic. You can see the uh, words there, they are not uh, from the uh, international release, right? And on top, on the right hand side, you do see Basso Vortex, uh, Basso coming out of his chest. All right, that is the uh. Uh, this is the action feature from the, uh, uh, same as the original release, you have a double hit, uh, hit, uh, what do you call it, hit scope, uh, you have a spare hit, one open fist hand, the crossbow is the same as the, uh, Grizzlo one, especially this is white, and you have two buzzers on the left and right. Right, yeah, and here's Basso Hodak, okay, and at the back here you do see some box art, right about here, okay, you do see that he is uh, doing battle with Flying Fist He-Man, and yeah, the, uh, looks like he have cross cell with the cross cell grey skull with the better armor um, masters, okay, and for Hodak, you do see instructions, on how uh, this comes to light, on uh, how the projectile is put inside, and how it's released out. Right, and to let you see, this is the release from uh, from other countries, not, uh, not international, the international one. Here's a closer look at Hordak. Okay, this is should be his face when he was first released, the head sculpt. Right, instead of the one that is not that nice. Right, so uh, let's bring him out of the packaging and we'll continue to take a closer look into him and also a closer look into the comparisons between him and the original Origins uh, first release of Hordak, all right, without the action feature. This is how Basso Hordak looks like. Out of the packaging, how is his package in packaging itself? Right, here's the back of him. Cape, his cape. Hi guys, this is uh, Ordak, Basso Hordak out of the packaging, and this is what he comes with. Alright, two bezels, one open fist hand, one crossbow, one additional head, and the comic itself. All right, let's take a look at his bustle blades. Okay, so uh, this is the one of the bustle blades. This is uh, this much more uh, sharper. All right, it's actually a uh, made out of hard plastic, and you can rotate it a bit. All right, slightly. You can see some uh, movement on it. Okay, let me focus it in. Yes, it's in focus. All right, you can see some four deck. Uh, the hot hot logo on it. Okay, you can't, you barely can make it out. Okay, on both sides. All right, let's move on to the next buzzer or the saw. Buzzer itself. Okay, it's having a bit of trouble zooming in. Okay. Alright, the other buzzer also comes with the Hall logo on it. Alright, this is a more uh this is a, a buzzer with less spikes on it compared to the ones that he has with the other one here. Alright. They're just plainly colored. Okay, and he comes with an open fist hand right here. Which when you put it, it can hold. He can hold two weapons. All right, and after that, he comes with an extra head. 
All right, this is the hit that should have uh, came with the original hall deck. However, it's better late than never, so you have an additional hit to put in on the hall deck. This is the one which he is uh, smiling. All right, and with the crown, with the crossbow, okay, this is exactly the same uh, crossbow that came with the original hall deck. Okay, it's uh, just, uh, just plain white in color. All right, whole deck also comes. Uh, that's all. That also comes with the mini comic. It comes also with instructions right here on how to remove part, uh, which parts on bus or whole deck can be re removed and shouldn't be removed. All right, I'll just tell you how the action feature works. Okay, and here is the comic it's itself. Right, it's called uh, okay. There's no title, but it, uh, it belongs to Musketeer. Okay, here's some cross cell at the back, and here we have Bust of Holdek. His face is uh, he's a, he's a, has an angry face. So you do see some pain blemishes on his cheek, right here, or, uh, and also, uh, yeah, but I think that's basically all. So he can rotate his head, he can also pop out his head and put in the smiling or the face, the additional head that comes with it. All right, so now it looks a bit more better. Let's take it off and put the original head in. All right, he, you just rotate a full 316. He has a uh, waist articulation. Okay, and his this armband is the same as the uh, previous hold deck. You can rotate it, rotate this and all the way. It is also bent at the elbow and also rotate the upper uh, I mean rotate his wrist and this is an open-handed wrist and it's a close uh, close fist that you can hold weapons right and for his belt buckle is still the size uh, basically in uh, still the same and your the leg can kick back and forth it can also bend at the knee and also rotate at the upper part of the uh, boot. You have a, a Hordex symbol on both feet. You can uh, move the feet up and down. All right, and uh, the differences between this Hordex and the rest. Yeah, it's basically his action feature right here, which uh, basically uh, Engages the bustle to come out of his chest. All right, the cape is uh, of good quality, of, of, of also uh, same as King Randall's, but a bit slightly not, it doesn't have a texture on it, just plain <coughs> red, however, similar to Scarecrow's. Scare and here's the back of Hordak. Right, just two metal pins right here holding in the, the cape. All right, and if you want to put in the uh, buzzle, you can see hinges from his chest piece, a nice hot, uh, hot logo, and just uh, bring this out, and you can see all the details inside. And when you activate it, you can see that that is how the feature works more light into this yep you can see how it pushes out the uh, hot I mean the bustle okay let's put in the uh, projectile close it however it doesn't when you press this it doesn't openly open this you need to open the uh, saw and activate it by Hard to activate. Let me try to get my hands on the trigger, and it shoots out just like that. 
Let's try on the next projectile or the next puzzle. Let's put it in all the way. And it does come out just like that. That's the main feature of Buzzsaw for that. However, if you want to put the saw in, just put it in right here. You can, okay, you can hear the clicking sound and just close his chest. All right. And yep, that's the action feature of Buzzsaw Hall, that the additional feature. All right, let's go to comparison time now. Before we go to comparison time, we just uh, can just let you see that this weapon goes here on his hand, same as the previous uh, bus or Hordak. I mean the Hordak figure. Okay, this is how he holds the uh, weapon. All right, let's proceed to the comparison now. So here are the. Uh, but uh, the Hordex side by side, this is the first release of course and this is the latest release and also you have another Filmation uh, release of Hordex, however that's the more accurate to the Filmation series. Right, you can see from the back the plain features are, I mean the differences are basically the action feature and uh, for Buzz Hordex, the Hord logo is a bit more, uh, basically more prevalent, more detailed. And however, the hips are of a bit of different color. And there's an extra head and two bus also. So here's the differences side to side. Back, you can see it. the original Hordak has more uh, details on the cape. Okay, and they are basically identical. Okay. And this guy just does does not want to stand properly and also the shield the hot shield or the bad shield swap out the head from the original hordak and put in the smiling face the one that is supposed uh, is supposed to come with all right and you do see that hordak looks a bit more uh cheerful than usual Right, looks much more better basically. For the Buster Hordak, I do see some paint blemishes on the feet of the Hord logo. You see some of it here and there. So, quality wise, uh, they need to be more careful when they produce this figure, right? Because uh, collectors do pay a lot. All right, and if you do like this review, please click on the uh, Notif a notification icon, subscribe, or the only sub subscribe icon as well, and this would also help me bring you more reviews in the future. This is Cool for Thousand Eight. Sign out, and he decides to fall down. <laughs>